Today we're at a mechanic shop. Let's check it out. Hey guys, this is Jack T here and today we're going to be doing an oil change on the Mustang. I was going to do it at home but I brought it to my buddy's shop so we can lift it up and it's going to be a whole lot easier. Shop is called Empire Motorsports, it's owned by my friend Jack. And the place is for the car enthusiast, by the car enthusiast, they do all types of things, mechanic work, body work, they do wraps. They specialize in a whole bunch of things, I recommend you guys check it out if you're ever in town. So let's get right to it and we're going to show you guys how this is done. Alright Jack, so explain to us what the first step of this process is. So first, before you do all your inspections, you want to go ahead and just uh, loosen up this drain plug on the bottom of the pan. So you're going to loosen it up a little bit here, you can get it to the hand loose. You bring the container on the bottom and you're going to slowly unscrew it until you feel like you are at the very tip of it and pull away because the oil might be hot. And now we just wait for it to drain out. So right now we're actually going ahead and checking all the tire pressures. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, take one of the tires off and check the brakes. We're gonna check all the underbody components and make sure that nothing is in a bad condition. I mean, it is a fairly new car, but problems could arise even from right now. So um, it would've been a lot nicer if this car was in park. That way I could have moved around these rear tires, but it's okay, we'll work through it. Yeah guys, so basically Jack being the nice guy that he is, he's just going to help check out the car real quick while we wait for the oil to drain. So that way at least we're doing something productive instead of just waiting around. Alright guys, the oil was done draining, so we tightened up that plug again, so now it's time to change the filter. So right here guys, it might get a little messy. They do put this cover here held on with two 8mm bolts. Uh, your filter might be hard to see. It's right on top of the rack and pinion right over here. We're going to go in there and try to see if we can get it off with our hand. If not, well, we'll do it the other way. It's not a problem. We got the tools for it. So let's get started. Alright guys, I don't know if you guys can see it, but we got the filter off. It's right there. So now we're going to put the new filter on. Alright guys, so the filter we're going to be using is this SDP filter that I bought. Here it is with Jack. So right here, right before I like to put these filters on, there's like a little seal right here. It's like a rubber seal. Dip my finger in a little bit of grease. I'm just going to ride my finger right around the rim of this thing. Get it nice and looped up. You always want to put loop on rubber components makes the process a lot easier, a lot cleaner, and a lot smoother. Alright guys, so now he's going to be screwing back the filter. I don't know if you guys can see it, it's kind of dark underneath the car. It goes where the old filter was after we greased it and lubed it up. We're going to put it right back in its original location right there. It fits exactly like a glove, nice and tight. Alright, now we're going to be screwing this part right back in back where the oil filter was. You have to open this up in order to access it, but since we're already done changing the oil filter, we could close this back up and then get to changing the oil. 
So you guys, we just finished draining the oil, changing the oil filter. We checked all the tire pressures. We looked at all the underbody components, including the exhaust system, the differential, the drive axles, everything, you know, from your rack and pinion to your bushings, to the struts, to the shocks, to everything. And uh, we even took the tires off and checked the brakes individually. Everything checks out fine. It's time to drop the car, take a look at the fluids from the top, top off everything that needs it, and let's put this oil in and get this puppy started. Alright guys, so you, you might be looking at this and saying, why is he putting coolant all of a sudden? No, it's not cool, you guys. It's just water. We're just going to be topping off all the fluids. You know, just a little add-on to the top. Not a big deal. I flushed this out many times. So it's completely 100% water in here. Right over here, we're going to be checking the windshield wiper fluid. Add some water to that, too. Right up to the top. You gotta look at the belts for any looseness or cracking. You see that that it's in good condition. Look up here for any leaks, possibly from the valve covers. All right. And the car is a uh, pretty low mileage, so checking the spark plugs right now. I mean. If you were really going to get to it, I mean, you could only check three of them here. It's a good indication of what, where they're standing at. But being that the car has no misfires and the miles that it's at, including the uh, fact that it's platinum spark plugs, serviceability on these is about every 100,000 miles. Not even worth checking right now when it's in its mid-30s. All right, guys, so we put the funnel where we're going to be putting the oil. We're going to be using Castrol synthetic oil. The V6 Mustang is actually run on... 5W20 synthetic oil, so that's what, we, what I bought yesterday. We're going to be putting it into the funnel right now, and we should be done pretty soon. Alright guys, we're at the last bottle. This engine takes six quarts of this oil. and This is the sixth bottle. Each of them was one quart. So let's pour in the last one. Alright guys, so we screwed back on the cap. See, it even says 5W20. That's how you check what kind of oil your car needs. Alright guys, so what we're going to go ahead and do right now is now that we got all the oil in there, and even though we were sure it takes six quarts, just to be sure, we're gonna go ahead and uh, start the car, let it idle for a second, let the engine warm up for just a couple moments, and we're gonna shut it off, come here, we're gonna take out the dipstick to once clean it over, and we'll put it right back in there, and then we're gonna pull it out and check the exact location of where the oil is on that dipstick so we can be sure. enough guys all right what you want to do is you want to grab your shop rag right now you're gonna reach over right here pull out that dipstick clean it over once put it right back inside make sure you do this smoothly now right here you'll see that your oil is right in the middle. Right in the middle is right where you want it. Why? Because you have more than this, then you have too much pressure in your engine. And you know what's gonna happen? It's gonna leak right out of your seals. Too little, nothing's getting lubed up properly. 
So you want it right in the middle. Don't think that more oil is better for your car. All right guys, one quick thing that I didn't know the first time I changed my oil is how to reset the gauge so it's back to 100% of oil life. So you turn on your car, and this is for the premium packages, I'm not exactly sure how it works in the base, but I'm assuming it's probably something similar. You go to settings, you go down to vehicle, oil life reset, and then press OK to reset it to 100% since the car is now at 100% oil. And you're all good to go. Alright, we're bringing it back home. I brought the car back in the parking lot. Oil change went perfectly fine. Everything was great. I know that taking it to my buddy's shop was the right thing to do because he let me record and I was able to jack up the car so I could get some nice footage for you guys. Uh, I know that changing oil the first time is a little bit of a daunting task, but if you know what you're doing and how to do what you're doing, then it's not too difficult. So I hope that you guys were able to learn a little something. If you guys liked what you saw, then leave a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe for more. This has been Jack T. I'll see you guys on the next video.